rocking the tropics tonight. The peak of hurricane season is living up to its name. There are two newly formed tropical depressions and, of course, Tropical Storm Florence moving through the Atlantic. Another guy doesn't have get to have his lunch break <laughs> is CBS4 <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Craig Setcher is tracking all of this activity. Right. Yeah, I, I, this is not a good time of year for me, but uh, missing the lunch break is not a bad thing. I, I tend to lose weight right now this time of year. Here's what's going on. The latest on Florence, a strong tropical storm. You can see it there showing up very, very nicely. This is the high resolution one minute imagery. There's an image of every one minute there. So a very fluid looking image. And if we look at the infrared that shows the cloud tops, you can see the more persistent colder cloud tops indicating that the uh, storm is in the process of getting its act together once again and going to be strengthening or both taking place. Here's what's going on. It's moving to the west at eight miles an hour right now. 65 mile an hour winds to the east southeast of Bermuda in the future track calls for it to return to hurricane strength probably over the weekend uh, Sunday and then become a major hurricane again by Tuesday and Wednesday possibly category four threatening the Carolinas there. Here are the latest wind speed probabilities uh, for the southeast US. This is what we used a lot last year to talk about the chances for tropical storm force winds. And as you can see, they are just about to reach the coast. Uh, not quite yet, not uh, very high values, but computer models showing the storm likely after it goes beyond the Hurricane Center's five day time frame impacting the southeast US. Last big hurricane in, Carol in South Carolina was uh, Hugo in 1989 very devastating to Charleston. So that area has not seen a major hurricane in quite some time. Tropical Depression 9, that's the other system we're watching. It is forecast to move to the west, become a tropical storm, and eventually a hurricane could potentially threaten the islands of the Eastern Caribbean late next week. And finally, one I don't think we have to worry about at all, this is Tropical Depression 8. It is forecast to stay out in the open Atlantic after it messes with the islands over there. So it's very busy in the tropics. Our weekend is not looking too bad. I'll have a detailed look at that forecast coming up. Craig, thank you. Don't forget, you can monitor what's happening in the tropics all weekend long. Just head to our website, cbsmommy.com slash tropics.